making a one-piece dress. You will need the patterns to create the clothes. Drawing pattern. Modify the pattern from the rectangle shape. Use the symmetric paste to edit the both sides of the pattern at the same time. Use the front patterns to generate the back pattern. Arrangement. Arrange the pattern using the gizmo. There is a normal direction in the pattern of the marvelous designer. Please check the dark gray as the back normal if you want to fractionate it from the lighter gray as the front normal. Sewing. Two technical ways to sewing method. Segment sewing. Segment sewing tool allows users to sew edge to edge from two different patterns. A pair of click selection from different edges of each pattern should be produced as sewing lines. It is recommended to sew the same notch directions to avoid the twisting issue in simulation. Free sewing. Free sewing tool allows user to sew with an unlimited length of the edge from two different patterns. Sewing starts from the click points towards the end points. A pair of click selection from the different edges of each pattern should produce a sewing line. It is recommended to sew the same notch directions to avoid the twisting issue in simulation. Editing sewing lines. Edit sewing tool allows users to edit the sewing pattern. If a user set the reverse notch, they can reverse the notch back to reverse the sewing menu. Setting up the sewing length manually. Right click on the pattern line to input the sewing length while using the free sewing tool. Set the sewing line without neck and arm area. Activate simulation. Edit the neckline. Edit the neck pattern because the neckline of the one piece is straight and it looks unnatural. Move the center points towards bottom line. However, you need to create a point on the side neck to avoid the wave from shoulder. At point the patterns to end, we create a point at the end of sewing line, and at point the pattern on start, we create a point at the start of sewing line. Holding shift key will let you move the point toward the line away in both horizontal, vertical, and diagonal directions. Right click on the window while dragging the point will open the value input window to move the point in number. Use the both edit curvature and edit curve point to create the round shape in that area. Repeat the same operation to the back. Edit the shoulder line. Make the shoulder pattern line narrow by moving the shoulder point. Move the shoulder points around to create a natural slope when shoulder shape rise high. Edit both front and back pattern. Edit the armholes. Edit the armholes as a curvature shape. Edit the back pattern as a curvature shape.
and the length of the hem. Pattern seems short like t-shirts. Extend the height of patterns to create a one-piece dress. Make a room of clothes by editing the weight of the hem. Make a constricted waist. Edit the sideline of the patterns to create a constricted waist. Be aware, this technique may cause the awkward look of the dress. Use the dart to create a natural look of the dress. Darts will create the internal hole, which can reduce the certain width or height. Seal the internal hole before the simulation. Copy and paste the front to create the back. Edit the external line of pattern while adjusting the internal dot should produce the final look of waist. Adjusting the hem. Extend the hems to match their horizontal line from the side patterns to the front pattern in the 3D view. Add patterns to arm hole to create the sleeve. Because of flat pattern where it met arm hole, sleeves will extend to the sideway. Push the sleeve down by adjusting the pattern. Center space will push the sleeve down. Adjust the sleeve patterns round enough to make the sleeve in curvature shape. Adding the layer of the sleeve. Add multiple layers. 
Copy and paste the simulated pattern in 3D window. We create the simulated pattern layers. Superimpose will arrange the posted pattern which those patterns already simulated shape in the previous step. 